there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Krakow, Poland. We're on the main square, you got the cloth hall behind me. This is actually the largest square in, the Euro in Europe. And today what we have for you are 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Krakow. And the thing is, the first thing that shocked me the first time I came here is, they have a Da Vinci. Yes, there's a Da Vinci here in Krakow, you can go see. It's lady holding the Imine or Imoni, I don't know how you want to say it. It looks like a rat, okay, she's like holding it like that. But that is one of the most important Da Vinci paintings out there because there's very few of them out there. So they have one right here. The second thing that's going to shock you when you come to Krakow is how many tourists actually come here. Krakow gets about 10 million tourists a year for good reason. This place is gorgeous. The square here is amazing. The St. Mary's Church, Vavil Hill. There's so many great things to see when you are here that is great. But the third thing that'll shock you when you are here is one of the things you'll see that'll shock you in a bad way is the number of drunk stag parties here on the weekends. Look, Krakow is a, Poland in general is a really affordable place to come. And so a lot of people bring their buddies down to Krakow for a party weekend. I, I can't fault them, it's a great place. Um, but the thing is, they get really, really drunk and there's sometimes problems there. So do avoid those guys when you do see them. And with all those stag parties and other things out here, also what will shock you kind of going along with that is during the night, how you have to run the gauntlet through some of the tourist parts with girls asking, oh, would you like to go to a strip club? Would you like to go to a strip club? If you're like me, I'm here by myself this time and I'm walking through town and literally every few people, oh, there's a girl with an umbrella. Oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sorry, I don't speak Polish. Oh, a strip club? I'm like, no, no, I I'm good, thanks. Now, the fourth shock has to deal with the beauty of this city because there's a reason why these guys come here. Because it's not just to get drunk and stuff like that, but it's also because it is just in a gorgeous city. Whether you're going up to Vavil Hill and going to see the castle there, the cathedral and seeing the views there, going to see the dragon statue on the river, going to see the Jewish district and seeing those things there, walking through the cloth hall, going to St. Mary's Church and seeing inside. I mean, I remember the first time I walked in there, just jaw dropped like, wow. The beauty, the blue um, altarpiece and the blue ceiling, you're just like, oh my God, it was just gorgeous. And there's so much beauty in the city that you're like, oh my gosh, I never think of Poland being so gorgeous, but it really is. And Krakow is that gem of Poland. And that's why you're so surprised just how amazing this is. Oh yeah, and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site because it is so fantastic. And what's also nice about this UNESCO World Heritage stuff and things like that, it harks back to actually Krakow wasn't destroyed that much during the Second World War. So the stuff you see here, most of this is original. It's not like, you know, Warsaw, which was completely leveled and stuff like that. So you're seeing this history, but it's the real history. It hasn't been rebuilt. And that is one of the things that really makes it very impactful. You're like, wow, this is what Poland looked like before the war. And so when you visit the rest of the country, you're like, wow, I can see what it was versus how it is now. And you really appreciate all everything that the Polish people went through during the war and after the war. So it is kind of a cool thing, okay? Now, the sixth thing that'll shock you to come here is also another reason why people like to come here is because Krakow is super cheap. Look, I you can eat on this square here. Look at this beautiful square. You can eat at the restaurants on here and not spend that much money. I had a, let's see, I had the jerek, the, the rye soup, and then I had pierogi, and then I had cake, and then I had a, two or three beers and a Coke because I wanted to stay awake. And I didn't spend more than like $25 on the square. Dude, you go to you go to Venice for that, you're like $500 in the hole. This is a super cheap place to come. And the thing is, a, a hotels, hostels, apart hotels, whatever you want to call them, there's tons of them around here, so it's really easy to stay. And it's really cheap. And it's great. So that's one thing that shocks people. They come here like, wow, this is that cheap Europe you're talking about? Yes, it's here. But don't call it Eastern Europe. We're in Central Europe. Look on a map. Poland's in the center, okay? Just FYI. You won't gain any friends calling us Eastern Europe. Just letting you know. Now, the seventh thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is when you go inside the churches. And it's not just St. Mary's Church here on the square, but you go around the churches around town and the, the Poles are very Catholic. They're very Christian. They very much believe they still go to church and they've kept their churches up. And when you go into the churches around Krakow, you see just how beautiful they really are. And you go in, you're like, wow. Wow, I mean, not just the cathedral on the hill, but the other churches as well. Though you can't take pictures in them, which kind of sucks, so that's why I don't have many pictures of the interior. But it is really, really cool, okay? 
The eighth thing that will shock you is when you go to the salt mines outside of town. Look, salt is one of the reasons that Poland was wealthy back in the, back in the day. And the salt mines outside of Krakow were one of those reasons. But the thing is, when you go to the salt mines outside of town, they like built a city, you know, with like church and, and buildings and stuff like that into the uh, into the mine. It's really kind of a cool thing to do, especially if you've got little ones. It's something quite to enjoy, something like that. The ninth thing that'll shock you when you come here is how well rebuilt and restored the Jewish quarter is here in town. And you'll see the, the old synagogue, the cemetery and things like that. You'll see the history of the Jewish community here. But what kind of surprises you or shocks you about that, that Jewish community and the Jewish quarter here is during the day it's, you know, cafes, restaurants and, and, and history stuff. But at night, that's where you go. Have, there's plenty of bars and restaurants to go drinking and make merry there. So it's kind of interesting how they have that. And our 10th thing that's going to shock you is going to Auschwitz, Auschwitz-Birkenau. Outside of Krakow was the worst, most horrible concentration camps that the Nazis had. Millions of people were murdered right outside of Krakow. Okay, you can sign up for a tour and go there. I recommend you going there just to free the tour. You don't have to do the tour. Everything there is signposted really well. But you see just the, 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 the wholesale slaughter of people and when you because Auschwitz is kind of like the, a community kind of stuff with buildings and stuff, but then Birkenau is the true, like you go there and you see where the long houses were, where the people were, the warehouse version of ma mass murder, and you see the train tracks coming in to the gates. And you'll be shocked how much it really pulls on your heartstrings. Like, I still get goosebumps thinking about going there because it is very, very, it's a very tragic, very moving, very important thing to go see and you know if you've got little kids I don't know if you want to take them or not I, I would take my kids so they know what happened there um, just so you can see that there are some parts you might not want to take them into but it is one of those things and it is very shocking when you see the horror that mankind can put on itself and that's one of the things there anyway those are the 10 things that shocked me when I came to Krakow what are the things that shocked you when you came to Krakow put it in the comment section below because we like to have more shocks and if you want other things we've got 10 shocks of Poland what you should eat when you're here yes the pierogi dumplings as well as some potatoes and cabbage a few hundred times on repeat <laughs> check it out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on Twitter Facebook Instagram we really appreciate your likes subscriptions and if you like videos like this click that subscribe button you'll get videos every Wednesday and Saturday and if I have time I try to put out another video as well so have a great time and bye from Krakow or Krakow if you prefer <laughs> bye